Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. So if you forgot, we did a whole bunch of training to give this guy his wallet back so that we can play the course because our coach here wants us to play around and hopefully we're gonna be able to impress him. And we also got some woods that allow us to skip our ball over the water which should be epic for island hopping which I assume this course is gonna be like so let's give this course a casual round at least that's what I'm betting they're gonna call it. I'm gonna say no just for kicks. No dialogue so we're playing! We're playing the course! Yeah! Oh, it's not a casual round, it's stoke play. Oh man. Oh man. Alright. So yeah, it does look like we're island hopping in part three, right off the bat. Looks like it. Uh, mm, 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 landed in the rough, next to the hole. Seems like a plan. That's, that's how I usually do my shots. So let's see. And... good start, I would say. <laughs> And I should be able to one-putt this for the birdie, but I'm, uh, I think it's clashing a little bit with my aim, the slope there. I'm gonna aim a little bit off to the side. Yeah, it did curve it a smidge. Woo! Yeah! Yeah! Oh, I forgot to check the, the power for that, just to see, uh, see what I'm aiming for overall. Well, I'll see you the next hole. <laughs> uh, ooh. I, uh, could aim for those little islands. I could try and skip the ball across the water for the fun of it. But it's probably just better off going over there. But really, I'm not sure... Wait, what? Why am I... Hold on a second, why does that go... Uh, it goes really sh short, like even for a driver when I hold ZL. I guess it's like a limited 30 yards no matter what. Uh, I guess maybe I should try to skip it across the water just for the sake of science. Here we go, here we go! Will it cross all the way though? That is the question! Mm -hmm. Yeah! <laughs> I probably plugged it, but that really cut off a lot of the hole's distance. That's pretty cool. Uh, opens up a lot of possibilities in the golfing world. So I gotta be looking for those sorts of possibilities as I go. Yeah, oh no! That looked like it was going through, but I guess it was actually hitting into the tree branches. Oh. Oh. Well, so much for me saving shots. <laughs> uh, whoops, no, I wanna go hit point mode. Yeah, curve it around the tree. And back smidge. Wait, what am I? I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm honestly not sure how this is gonna turn out. Okay, hit the tree branches, which is what I thought was gonna happen last time. Okay, well, <laughs> I will putt. And I will aim a little bit left. And I will aim about half because I'm putting through rough. Yeah! Good save. <laughs> That was just a garbage play. Par 6 on the 9th! That's a very unconventional par, but I have seen that on courses before. That's a par 37 course. Uh, yeah, it's... It's it's instead of two par 5s and two par 3s, it's a par 5 and a par 6. Making it 37 instead of 36. Oh, I can't wait to see what kind of hole that's gonna be. But for now, we have... Six other holes to get through. That's a lot of heath. At least I think it's called heath. I don't know. I've never literally like, or maybe it's like deep rough or something. But it, it just reminds me of heath in Mario Golf. So I'm calling it heath. <laughs> I definitely don't want to land in it. You do not want to land your ball in a bush, no matter what. Well, I let fairway. Uh oh, it's like a weed. I see. <laughs> so, if you're if you're under it, regardless of the lie, it gives you like a terrible, terrible outcome. Uh, so I guess it it is sort of like Heath, and that it's really cutting back on my club distance. But I, I I didn't think I could make the green in two anyway. It was just a thing of that I was just aiming for a safe spot, or at least I thought it was safe, and it didn't work out. But I'm okay now. I'm at a safe spot. Um. 
Well, I guess maybe it did work out. That wasn't that bad. Oh, this is actually... I can't land my ball in the rough. Because there's no rough. So if I land my ball in the sand, it's just gonna plug. Um... What if I tried something a little bit unconventional here? Use my skimming woods, land my ball in the water, and then use that to dampen the shot? Like the, the landing area, maybe? Let's try it. <laughs> it actually worked, oh my god. <laughs> These woods are awesome! <laughs> uh, I'm gonna aim a little bit that way. Play the slope. Birdie for me! <laughs> On the hexagonal green. Woo! You can't actually skim the ball across uh, water in real life. It's very, very hard to do. The honey will probably lose a bunch of balls trying it. But if you have like a bunch of just like really beat up balls that you don't really want, just, I don't know, go, go to a pond and try hitting really low skimming balls of a long iron. And you'll probably be able to get them to bounce off the water and skim in the air. I'm not exactly sure how how it's done. You have to watch probably like videos on it yourself. But I mean, if you keep trying it, you'll probably get the idea of it is what I'm saying. But you might lose a lot of balls along the way while you're trying it. Maybe you'd be better off with like trying it at a swimming pool. And then retrieving the balls in the swimming pool <laughs> after you're done. Or maybe trying it with some floating uh, range balls or something like that. I don't know. Just just giving you some fun ideas for golf. <laughs> Hopefully, uh, I am I have no idea how I'm gonna play this because this is first I got a tree in my way for one thing, and the other thing is look at this green. It's just this little square. <laughs> this is definitely definitely the hardest course yet, based on uh, the greens. At least that we've seen. Oh, well, uh, well, that, that, that's not bad. <laughs> We're okay. We'll play our ukulele and just relax. Because we're supposed to be having a casual round, yet proving ourselves the coach. Yes. Yes. We're on the green and are putting for power. Yeah, that would be a really, really hard hole to birdie on. I look forward to, uh, trying to improve this uh, my score on that for a birdie badge later <laughs> I might have to do like like when I improve my drive distance maybe I could, I'll be able to hit straight to the green and land the ball in the water but then it'll put me back on the green based on the drop zone like the drop area and then I'll just one putt I don't know I'll think about it as I go but we shall see later on when I go for the badges uh, I'm gonna aim for the tree because the wind should push me away from the tree. In theory. Hopefully it'll work. Yeah, it'll work. That rock, though, I did not pay much attention to. Well, I'm still on the fairway. And I'm not in the heath, so that will do. Um, the slope and the wind is clashing. <laughs> I still want to land it in the rough, though. So I'm going to try doing it a little bit back there. Hopefully it won't land in the sand, because that'll just kill my shot. <laughs> okay, there we go. That's probably a birdie. Probably. Just a little smidge off to the left. And... Hit it hard. There we go! Woo! Huh. Next hole we go. Um... Still a lot of island hopping. Is this a two-shotter or a one-shotter? I don't know. Uh, it's It says par three, but why is... I mean, I guess that could just be there for design, you know, just to be all fancy. I do not know how I'm going to land my ball on the green, though, like to get it to stop. Uh, I guess I just got to land it as tight to the front edge as possible and hope to Arceus it doesn't roll off the back. Ooh, that was a good landing. Oh, yeah, that's about as close as you can get it. <laughs> Other than probably hitting the pin. Uh, I think it's going to affect the ball in that direction, so I'm going to aim it a little left. It's uphill. Hit it harder. Yeah. Birdie, birdie, birdie. 
Woo! Next hole. That somehow turned out well, despite the difficult shot. Yeah, if the greens are guarded like to- Ah! Oh, I think they're under- I think they did understand that people are gonna try and land their ball in the rough. You know, to slow the ball down on its, uh, rollout. Because now they're putting sand all around the greens. So that- Oh! Oh. <laughs> okay, we're, we're still good. We're good. Maybe. <laughs> um... Maybe I'll be able to get enough rollout to get it onto the green? I wouldn't count on it, though. I'll try it. I mean, at the very least, I'll be really close to the green. I don't have to get beyond the fairway on every shot. It... What? It didn't even land in the rough? Interesting. <laughs> I guess I could have, um, like from a distance, like a further distance than that, I could have landed the ball on the rough in front of the green and then bounced it on the green. But that's a much harder shot than if the green is just surrounded by rough. So yeah, I do think that, I, I mean, I would bet that they did understand that bit of physics that I took advantage of in uh, earlier courses because, no, well, that works too. But, <laughs> but I mean, like if you're trying to just land the green normally using the rough that's not really it's not going to be a factor here i mean it's not something that's going to be allowed because the, well i guess it, it'll work on this hole because there's rough around the green like before but not on most of the other holes uh, obviously don't hit the rock <laughs> i really i thought that was going to make my ball go all the way back in the water because when you hit something hard with a rock i mean well when you hit something hard with a golf ball at high speed, that thing really, really flies. <laughs> if you've ever done that before, like if you landed your ball on a sprinkler head, that thing will bounce up almost as high as <laughs> the, the, the shot that you took before. Because it's just so, so bouncy at such a velocity. Uh... Well, maybe not almost as high, but it's, it's it looks like it goes pretty high on the bounce. And, oh, why did I chip that? Why didn't I do a putt? I, I learned that trick earlier before, and I taught you that trick out of just playing around with stuff. <laughs> but I forgot to do the trick, and it costed me probably one stroke there. Yeah, but that, this course is definitely, uh, it's a toughie. I like it. <laughs> Okay, so this is the fable par 6. There, there, looks like there's many ways to play this. There's like two separate paths going on here. I guess I'll aim for that side since it's, the, it's just matching up with my driver distance best. Like for a max power shot. I guess I use the guy's name. <laughs> oh no, I'm in the heath. I think I'm in the heath. Am I in the heath? Yes, I am. Ah! <laughs> Uh, yeah, Heath is not your friend. I'll just aim over to that island. It'll, it'll advance the ball as far as I can, I suppose, and bounce it off a rock, yes. Just that I was hoping for. <laughs> not really, but I, I, it's fun to pretend, isn't it? <laughs> uh, you know, I'm not really in that bad of a shape, even though I had to hit that far back. So this might actually be a pretty easy, quote-unquote, easy hole to albatross. Uh, like later on when I have an actual better idea of how I want to play this hole. Uh, oh, I might actually get it now! Holy poop! Holy poop! Oh, oh wait, no, that's what, oh, never mind, that was my fourth shot, not, not an albatross. Woo, okay. What? How could I have miscounted so badly? I don't know. But I got an eagle. I would say that's pretty good. <laughs> Seven under par. Yep, definitely harder than Cheeky Beak Peak and the other courses. But pretty dang fun. Woo! I think the coach will like that. As uh, as we got that success flashed up on the screen there. Uh, no, okay. I just wanted to see if you had any other dialogue about my courses. Maybe I could brag about... Oh, there's another coach. And Pink! Uh-oh. Fancy meeting you people here. I get the feeling a match is coming. Yes, fancy that. This is a great place for some sand drills. I'm sure coach has you doing drills up and down this beach. Well, um, 
He might have had other plans, but that's another story. Well, actually, I'm sure she's sick of hearing about golf training by now. <laughs> We've just watched Lara do a challenge. Why don't you have a go, too? Sounds fun. Let me know when you're ready. Uh, I guess I could probably do that really quick. Maybe. Uh, come on, don't let me down. I didn't... Can I show you my scorecard? So for single figures, it hasn't been a complete waste. When I am ever going to play this much sand anyway! When you play this course! <laughs> hey, yes I am. Oh, I forgot to press B! Well... Well... <laughs> well, I'll consider that a missed opportunity, I suppose, unless I totally fail this challenge. Uh, ooh. How do I... Because that tree is... I guess I'm gonna have to hit through the leaves. Or it doesn't hit... <laughs> it doesn't hit the leaves whatsoever. Okay! That's, uh... Yes! <laughs> I suppose that can happen too, but it certainly certainly didn't look like it based on the options it gave me. Alright. Yeah, these bunker shots aren't really much harder than a regular chip shot onto the green. It's just maybe you're using a longer club in some situations. Well, I mean, I flubbed that one, but... <laughs> yes, I know this is a snaking green too, by the way. I'm well aware of that, but... I still, I, I don't think I should be having that much difficulty because around the hole is only a slight slope as opposed to the snaky, severe slope of the rest of it, I've noticed, so... Yeah, it should be... should be pretty routine, but I'm kind of flubbing stuff that I probably shouldn't be flubbing. Nice little rollout. I've even flubbed that one. I thought the wind was going to take it more. Ah! Ah! Three hits left, I gotta get them all. Wait, actually... You know what I could do? Because I could get her dialogue by purposely failing. <laughs> as long as I'm doing badly anyway. Yeah, yeah. So then we'll let me quit! It's kind of weird that it doesn't let you quit challenges to restart them. I already did better than that. <laughs> I, I would... I'm... I personally would doubt that. What if I press B? Oh, there's nothing there anyway? I could have... Ah, I could have gone for it. Okay, well, at the very least, well, that's the putter. <laughs> at the very least, we'll have probably more shots at it than I did before. Uh, maybe I should try and curve it around the tree this time. Yeah, that looks like it has more promise. Like up and around. Move it back. Yeah, I'll try there. And hopefully that'll do better. There we go. Um, <laughs> doing this again, so I don't have much new dialogue. <laughs> At least until we get to the new holes. Uh, that. Okay, now the wind is taking it, or maybe it's because of the four-yard range of the bunker. You know that it's got a, a little bit of play that you gotta sort of anticipate or something that I'm not anticipating enough of. I don't know. I thought that was a pretty decent shot, but nope. Game said nope, not in the circle. <laughs> not going there. That one's fine, though. Uh, anticipate the rollouts. Believe in the rollouts. Believe that your ball is round! Or something. I don't, I don't know how, how anyone would, would phrase that. <laughs> uh, that looks good. I'm getting the hang of this wind idea here. I mean, the, the wind, wind distance and stuff like that. Oh no, that landed in the rough! Ah, disaster! That was not what I was aiming for. That would have been fine if I was at a further distance, but not when I'm that close. Maybe it was the four-yard range again of the bunker. Well, we'll see how it turns out. That one's in. So that means I have at least one bit of play going on here that I have... Uh, but I have a shot to miss, basically, if I really want have to. <laughs> yeah, that one should be good. Alright, so we are in the clear. But can we get this last one just for kicks? Maybe. I'm sure it's possible, but can we? That is the question I'm asking you. Can we? Can we? Go. Ah, <laughs> oh, it rolled out a little too much. That's okay. Still successful. Pretty good. Lara struggles hitting out of the sand. 
No, I don't. <laughs> We're all struggling from the sand now and again. Speaking of which, I've thought of a new challenge for everybody. It's a treasure hunt. Yes! <laughs> you, pre you prepared a treasure hunt for us. Better get our digging wedge. I always bring my metal detector to the beach. Your goal is to find something for Yvonne to use as a ball marker. Like a bottle cap or a coin. A Ritz cracker, like in Happy Gilmore. <laughs> How will this assist their training? You'll find out afterwards. Something tells me this has nothing to do with training. <laughs> okay, we got the radar on the side of the screen again. And we got a level up. Probably should uh, take care of that before we get into other side quests. I think, I think... I should maybe focus on other stats for a good... for a bit now. Yeah. Alright, uh, if you come across any ball markers, I could use another one. Yes, yes, of course. Yes, yes, of course. Hope you bought your digging wedge with you. Yes, I did. I keep it on my person at all times. Well, I guess I'll be digging for a ball marker of some kind in the next part. So I hope you enjoy, and I'll see you then when I maybe find a ball marker and probably a bunch of other stuff. Most likely, I mean, I imagine there's a lot of stuff buried on the beach if there's sand. People lose a lot of things. 